welcome back um, let's the next tab over is data pri privacy so let's see what is what it says it also have with gdpr here's squirmen open the gdpr toolbox let's see what's in there so i think it was somewhere up there as well uh, in governments information governments it's exactly the same but another thing so create data let me see what gdpr means so i quickly search online and it's gdpr is general data protection regulations it's by it's a government entity by the star so i searched it and uh, you can data upload it to like up I uh, import meaning you can upload it to office 365 to safeguard it and you can find personal data like you can search let's see import and what we get import PST file so this is again if we saw in that uh, video that PST is uh, uh, outlook file let's go back the other one is request data subject request cases close cases from the past 360 days uh, and since classifying data and labels so since we are not doing any of those things so nothing is showing up but good to know that is data subject request like what subject request were created so this is something new and in real world I'm gonna tell you uh, if there is any user that is a Facebook user or Twitter user but Facebook um, like uh, there will be a lot more user user ever used to Facebook uh, if there is an option you can download your data mean whatever uh, statuses you uploaded whatever pictures you uploaded whatever videos you uploaded so what it does is you make the request and they process it in the back end and then send you a link or show you in uh, uh, inbox you that uh, your file is ready and it's, uh, it's normally it's a zip file you download and it has everything that you ever produced on that platform in case of uh, Twitter it's all your tweets videos um, and I am I I don't know if uh, Twitter allows video but it uh, it does allow pictures so everything is there so you download it and you have all of your data so that is what the, so with in case of 365 those requests that will be made yes it will collect everything for them let them download and list them here what was the case name and all that so I think this request details confirm your case settings enter test DSR case let's click next show result for all user data set the person who let's see Ali confirm your case setting save so this is the case we get to show me search result so we see if we have any results and it's gonna populate whatever maybe his emails test it's searching for everything and this is the export you can export I believe so it's gonna search here for a while and there's nothing yet it's, oh, it's about the DE discovery oh. so everything is here we close it and we can export result we can export report we can close case if we want it to but let's go to where is the other thing right there so the case is open we click on it it takes us to the same thing <coughs> and then this is active you can refresh it it's created last modified and modified by and you have to go and close it by here if you click on it so you want to like all the holes that they are placed uh, will be gone and everything will be released 
like if they were holding anything for that uh, user and you see uh, about the alert i got the alert for the discovery so let's uh wind this video here uh we saw the holes in in alerts i believe or data loss prevention but we covered that in a previous video so this is it about the data privacy that user have the right uh, to their data and which you should be able to give them a copy when they require and if and it also implies that users can upload data to office 365 to better guard it that's what it means so it's really technical and all that uh, you really don't have to bother about this unless somebody to tell you oh, go just run this report and then you come and run otherwise uh, you probably are not going to do this unless you are uh, at least a system admin or something so let's wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one